Okay, this takes us to this road. Hope this takes us out. But yeah, like I said, pumping like this in the dirt, it really takes a toll on your arm. For real, for real. I'm not a huge fan. And now I know I will probably never get one again. Just not a huge fan of the with another video from here that I hope you guys do enjoy and we got another uh, let's see what we got over here don't even know which way I'm going but I'm going anyway oh we're over here I know exactly where we're at oh. I feel like we got a flat no, it should be good. Alright guys, so we do have a, another package for you guys. Let's go ahead and unbox this and see what the sponsor sent me. Let's go ahead and start unboxing this. Alright, this is going to be pretty nice. Let's go ahead and get into this. Alright, straight to opening up the package. I can even get this. get straight into this unboxing oh don't want to show no address or nothing I'm like man I gotta blur it yo yo no way I can't even get the package because it's so dang big but we have crocodile cloth auto Auto version. They have like different, multiple different versions. And um, yeah, this one is never dry, uh, stays up, stays moist, or wet, or well, or I can't even read. Stays moist or will replace for free. Go ahead and get messy. This one has 90 cloths on it. And uh, definitely do not flush these, but use them. Use them to your advantage. This can uh, definitely clean a lot of things. Opening them up for the first time, you gotta take this and peel it. It's a little tricky to get out, but it's good because they want them to stay fresh and clean, which I like. Hey, you can use this. Let's use this. And then we just literally poke it. Check that out. And try your first crocodile cloth. I literally don't have anything dirty that I can use. Like the Suron's pretty clean itself, but maybe it'll just make it that much better. Probably make it shine. Get that off. Let's go. Let's clean all this. See what it looks like. Gotta make sure it's cleaned properly. Give it a few minutes to do what it needs to do. Alright guys, besides the cleaning power, the cloth itself is massive. Look how big that is. You get enough to do everything. Let's clean your hands off. Clean some more serum parts. Good to go. Like literally, it really does make every part of your bike shine. You can see everything. And now you can see all the scratches as well because it's so dang clean. Because you don't want water because it just makes everything muddy. And then it makes it harder to get off. So you don't want any of that stuff on your bike. Or whatever you're cleaning. Maybe you're cleaning your car. Maybe you're cleaning your garage. Trying to wipe it down from all the spills. 
clean anything. You clean your grill, clean more than you need to clean, honestly. But it will make everything look sparkling clean. Give it a good wipe down. Sometimes you miss spots, so you need to go back and actually wipe it down even more. But that's not any problem. Look at all that. Looks gross, but your bike is shining. Shout out to Crocodile Claw. Yo, it actually does look pretty good. Here are all the parts that I cleaned up. Here's the part that I cleaned up, and we'll go up further. Here's the part I did not clean. Alright guys, but Crocodile Cloth works pretty darn good. I actually do like it. Would I recommend it? Definitely would recommend it. Thank you so much for Crocodile Cloth sending this out. I actually do really like these. As I mean, some people get products from uh, sponsors and stuff, and some people just do not like them. But this is pretty good. You have to get, if you are a mechanic, if you ride bikes, if you need anything to clean up in your garage, if you just want to use it around your house in general, in the inside it works pretty good. And it also cleans your hands sparkling clean as well, if you got grease on them. I didn't really get to test it too good on my Suron, because it really was not that dirty. And I didn't get to test it on my hands, because my hands were not dirty at all. So today, if you need to clean anything in your presence, like I said, whether it be a dirt bike, whether it be cleaning your garage, if you're an auto mechanic guy, if your hands just get really dirty on the daily basis, etc. Go ahead and get you some crocodile cloth. I have literally not tried crocodile cloth enough to recommend it, but I highly do recommend it from what I've actually tried. I will give you guys an update on how good this actually works because I didn't really get to test it in too dirt. I didn't get to test it in actual dirty conditions because my surround's not dirty, my hands aren't dirty, and nothing around me is actually dirty that I need to clean. So go ahead and get yourself one. So again, if you guys need to clean up anything in your daily presence, go ahead and get crocodile cloth. But from what I used within the five minutes of actually filming this, it is very good. Yo, honestly, I'm pretty darn impressed. Like I've been just lay leaving this around and it's still wet like I was like oh I need a new one because it's so dang wet or it's not I was thinking like it's not wet enough but I do want to clean my seat and see how good it actually comes out because I can never get my seat clean it's always dirty every time I dry it wet it dry it wet it clean it it's always dirty there's nothing I can do about that so this I definitely want to test I don't care if the rest won't matter, but yeah, I'm not focused on that. Focused on my seat. I want my seat to be clean every time. I'm not gonna lie, this is hopefully pretty good. Yeah, let's see how good this walk actually is. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna update you in a second. Let me see this drop. And on top of all that, it's still wet. That's crazy. Alright guys, so using them, I figured out they last really good being moist. Like, it never dries. It's still wet. And on top of that, you clean something, it cleans it really well, and it dries extremely quick, which I've noticed. Like, I put it on my, my seat, and it's pretty much already dry within five minutes. Still wet. Wow, for the seat, it actually looks pretty darn well. It cleaned up everything, but this seat get, attracts lint so, and dust, so that's that. Other than that, it took off all the dirt and grime. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get back on with the video. <laughs> Alright, let me go over here. How to make another U-turn. The shoe is over here going straight. Oh, I need to go this way. Can't even drive. Pretty much in the middle of the street. Let's go. Oh, 
I feel like I need to adjust the microphone into a different position so it won't catch so much wind. It's catching quite a bit of wind. Either that or put the wind thing back on. I might do that. I still have the wind screen or whatever you want to call it, wind sock, dead cat, whatever it may be. Uh, are we going to go this way? Pretty much. Let's see where this could take us. Okay, this takes us to this road. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh! The soft sand. Oh, it's made me fall. Oh my gosh. I'm going up against that. Heck no. This is more exciting than just going around. Yo! Oh my gosh, yo! Pumping like that is crazy hard on your arms, bro. Oh my gosh. Pump this, check this out. But yeah, like I said, pumping like this in the dirt, it really takes a toll on your arm. For real, for real. Hopefully we get out of here. Oh yeah, I'll get out right here if there's a section to get out. There is a section. Nice! turn anyways bro I'm gonna go this way well but that's gonna feel bad on the, the, oh, the other end I thought I need to adjust my grips Need to adjust my grips. I don't know why. Uh, let me turn this off. I kind of do know why, cause like I I got the the waffle grips right here, and I'm I'm just I'm not a big fan of them, especially going from BMX and using a lot of just flat ones and nothing like this, cause it's not an MX uh, grip. I'm just not really used to it. Maybe uh, it will feel a lot better with grips or with the uh, with gloves. It'll probably feel better with gloves on. But I don't always wear gloves, that's hence why I have the donuts on there. But it just, it doesn't feel, it's not feeling nice to my liking, is what I'm going to say. They're not bad grips, very, very good feeling grips. Just, if it had no waffle on it, it would be even better. Because the part that doesn't have waffle feels really nice. It's just the waffle is not there. Where the original Suron are not like super popped up like this. They have waffle on it, but it's very, very subtle type of, you know. I just, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan. And uh, now I know I will probably never get a waffle one again. Just not a huge fan of the waffle. Waffle grips are not it for me. Like I said, maybe if I use like grips or something, it might feel even nicer. But uh, I don't use grips all the time. So when I don't use grips, they feel horrible. They feel like bad. And probably because I'm not um, used to the grips to begin with. Because I've only used the Suron grips for the Suron. There's a couple options that I wanted other than this. After I got, I got these first because I really wanted the waffle grips. Half waffle grips. And then when I got them I realized they're not for me. Oh, I'm going to go right here. Then I realized they're not for me after I used them like once or twice in a ride. I was like, ah, oh, the waffle's not for me. I got them and now I don't really like them too much. I don't really like them too much after I already rode them like two rides. Can't take them back after that. So I was like, yeah, let me just try to get used to them. And now I have been using them for quite some time. And I still don't really feel used to them. And I definitely could get used to them, but it's just not in the agenda to get used to them. I don't know. <laughs> I'll go right here for the one time. 
I appreciate a good uh, street bike. I would get one if I was if I was able to get one for sure. That's what I would get. I just think they're so fun. Like riding two wheel devices are just so fun. But I would obviously have a second car. I, I mean, I do have a car now, but I can't actually drive the car. But if I if I was able to drive, I'll get a uh, a street bike. I don't know which one. Street bike and a. Uh, I already have a car, so that would be perfect. Like, only time I'm riding in the car is when I'm, uh, when it's extremely hot and I'm about to pass out in the heat, or it's raining super hard. Other than that, 95% of the time, I'm driving the street bike, if that was the case. Cause I just, I don't know, I just love two-wheel devices so much. Uh, it's just what I feel comfortable using. And uh, that's what I'm gonna keep using. I would have literally got a I would have literally got a street bike if I was able to drive when I got the thing. I would have did a lot of things different. I would have got me a truck instead of a car. I don't I just portability. Didn't know I was gonna get the Suron. But now that I have the Suron, I'm like, dang, I need a truck. And I kinda, you know, uh, I could have got one too. Now in the situation that I'm in. With the, with the car and whatever, I just, I don't have the option to get one at the moment. But the time getting my car, I could have, if I didn't get the car, I could have had a truck by now. But I wanted the car with nice features. The truck wouldn't have that nice of features. Like it wouldn't have Bluetooth screen, a nice big screen too. It wouldn't have a key fob and it wouldn't have uh, heating and cooling seats. Which those are pretty nice. I like those heating and cooling seats. It's very, very nice. Don't need it, but it, it's definitely a nice feature. Definitely a nice feature, bro. Oh my God. The bumps, the bumps, the bumps. But yeah, regardless, I'm happy with everything I got. Happy with the videos I'm making. I ain't gotta worry about anything else in the, the past. So if anything happened on this channel, it happened on this channel, it's in the past. It's whatever. We don't gotta worry about anything. We just keep doing our videos. Keep having fun riding the Suron. Cause I don't really care what the uh, videos turn out. Get thousands and hundreds of views. Get zero views, you know? If I'm not posting the videos, I'm still riding, like, I'm still doing this every single day, you know? I'm not just, oh, I want to make YouTube videos, now I can ride. No. If I didn't make the YouTube videos, I'm still riding, like, it just, it's fun. It makes me happy. It's just super fun. It's just like, you have a bad day, pull out the Suron, and you forget about everything. You just feel fun, riding down the street. That's literally how it is. You have a bad day, hop on the Suron. Or hop on the dirt bike, whatever you got. Forget about everything. Because uh, I can ride this for hours and not think about anything. Just on riding. Riding the BMX is a whole different story. Whole different story. It's still fun, but it's just not like you want to get out when you're having a bad day or, you know, it's, it's kind of different. I mean, if you go to like a park all the time, you're good. That's definitely the same thing. You're getting out, you're having a little fun, getting a little exercise, getting out there, right? But you're not gonna always wanna go outside. You're like, oh, I don't wanna ride today, I don't, I'm tired. With the Suron or a dirt bike, you're always gonna wanna get out there. Tired or not, you're going. Cause you're not, put, you're not pushing or pedaling or doing nothing. You're just forgetting about that and going. And even you know, some days I'll go out there when it's blazing hot, like fire hot, like it's literally gonna be on fire, literally. I'm not going that way, bro. Oh, it's all closed, bro. All right, I'm gonna go out to these cars. Oh, come on, bro. All right, we're clearing this side. Come on, come on. All right, we're clearing this side. Yes, sir, that's how you do it. <laughs> but yeah, this is the same road. Oh, this is a sketch road. Um, it looks very sketchy, but um, yeah, I went down. This is the road I went down, and I got to the very end, and a dog popped out from like a homeless encampment, and it. And I was like, oh, it's cool, it's cool. I just stood there for a minute. 
Then I started to go, I started to turn around. I was like, you know what? I better go for this thing chases me. Then I started to turn around very, very slowly, pedal normal. And then what would you know? The dog starts chasing me. It was right by my legs the whole time. Almost bit it a few times, but it's literally right over this. Wait, hold on. Can I come from the other side? Oh, I was like, no, I gotta go all the way back. But that's not the case. Okay, what is that? Okay, I think that was right down over here. It's like you, it was like literally over here where it happened. You see right here? Oh yeah. Literally right there. All right, but we need to get up out of here. It is so hot. Time oh, bugs in your eyes, bro. Okay, yeah, literally so hot. Get that. Woo! Get that, get that. Hey. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. <sighs> Peace.